Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Tonight, we are using my Tier Isar. This is the 69. It is quarter hollow and a sweet shaver out of the late 1960s, early 1970s. And for our soap tonight, Taylor Volt Bond Street. And this is the Grapefruit Shaving Cream. It is just amazing. It, the scent on this is just like fresh grapefruit. It is incredible. Now, we got our brush. This is the Omega 10,098. Excellent. And now what I do is I normally just dab those bristles right in there to pick up soap or to pick up the cream. And I'm sure that's enough. Uh, what we're going to do next, though, is I'm going to get that face wet. You know, I just came out of the shower, but let's hydrate that beard. Keep it going, right? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get our lather on. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all ready. Thick and pasty. <laughs> okay, so we definitely put some water in there. So I put, I just dip the bristles, or the tips of the bristles of the brush into the water. And let's start working that lather. There we go, see? Starting to look pretty good. And I just rotate that brush ever so slightly. That way you never get a buildup on the bottom of the brush and have, you know, big glob pop off. At least, well, I say never. Never say never, though. That's what the man says, right? So what happens is uh, you can get quite a buildup. And... I have had it come off. So what I've started doing is I rotate that brush slightly as I'm building that lather. And that seems to really help keep the lather on the brush. Look at that. Wow. All right, there you go. So hopefully you're having a good weekend. Yeah, good relaxing weekend with family and friends, being able to enjoy it, have some downtime. It's always good. So hopefully you're doing good, right? And you're well. That's very important. So now this first pass is going to be with the grain. Primarily with the grain, anyway. Oh, nice. Look at that. Just cut right through that. Excellent. And really a marvelous scent. That grapefruit comes through with this. Quite nice.
and I may hit a bump there, not a big deal. So I am starting to uh, think about the question of the day, which at this point, do you shave every day, every other day, or is it two or three days? So that's the question of the day. How many days do you go in between a shave? All right. One, two, three, more. I don't know. Go ahead and put your comment down and let me know if, you know, if it's one day, two days, three days. And for me, I've been letting it go on the average of probably three to four days. And I'm thinking that I'm going to try to go back to two days and see if that doesn't work better for me. Look at that. Isn't that great? Excellent cream. And that scent really, you know, sets it off. There you go. Nice. Yeah, and everything wet shaving. Experiment. Try different things. You know, how many days to go in between. Everything. There you go, pass one complete. Now, let's get that rinsed off, see how we did. Nice. Okay. Well done. Well done, first pass. 
All right. Now, let's get our second pass on. I want to remind you that I do shave videos the uh, on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. So you can always stop by and see the shave of the day. And I enjoy having you here and being with me. It's always a good time. Yep. Okay, here we go. Nice. Really good lather. Okay, now this is primarily across the grain on my neck and against the grain on my cheeks. There we go. Nice. Now we're going to switch hands, do this other side. Nice. Really good. Quite a good shaver.
Okay. Just a little bit left. All right, there you have it. Pass two complete. Yep. Now let's get that washed off. See how we did. Oh yeah. The cheeks right where we need them. Yep. Quite good. Now this time, I'm actually going to dry my face off. I think I have too much water for this amount of product I have on this brush so if I need to add water we will so now this is the half pass and that is going to be primarily across the neck and my jaw and that is against the grain now I do Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month so please go ahead and give me uh, ideas, questions, comments, uh, something I can make a Friday special out of. I am needing your input and really looking forward to doing some new Friday specials. And these are straight razor edge Friday specials. So it could be anything from honing to how do you Take care of your razor, you know, could be anything. So go ahead, you know, give me your ideas, give me your questions. And we'll work our way through them. I've already got uh, some subscribers that are helping me out with this, and I really appreciate you guys. You are the best, I tell you. And you know who you are, all right? Very good. Yeah, I got that one little spot there, but no big deal. It'll be fine. Yeah, definitely a sweet shaver, without a doubt.
All right, there you have it. Another shave in the books. Yep. Okay. Now we'll get that washed off. Oh, really nice shave. That's good. Yep. And we go alum everywhere. I dry that off and now for our aftershave tonight, Thayer's, and this is the extra cool, this has grapefruit in it, yep, it has got the scent of grapefruit and it is fabulous, it also is cooling. And that's good for the skin. Good for the redness. Yep. Takes care of a lot of things. Now for the cloney part of this. Osage rub. Yes. Nice. This is so good. And I think this is going to be a comp good complement for this uh, cream as well. Yep. Oh, nice. There we go. That is good. And that's got some menthol in it, which makes it even better. All right. And we're going to finish off with Nivea Poche Bomb. One of my favorites. Good for taking care of the skin. Yep. Yeah, and we just put that everywhere as well. There you go. Hey, I really appreciate you guys. And uh, you click right up here to see a full straight razor shave from pre-shave to post-shave, every step in between. And that will take care of you. All right, thank you again so much. I really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see my latest video, click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.